what's good everyone welcome to the channel it is franklin again today we are watching signs now signs is from the incredible m night Shyamalan. the only movies i've seen from him are six cents and old now this movie got recommended to me right after the time i watch six cents so i am thinking it has some similarities with six cents maybe or just the fact that it's the same crew and director that did it now i've had some people tell me six cents was the best thing M. Night ever made and nothing have come close since and you know what I get it if you make something as good as Sixth Sense like making something else that surpassed that is done near like lightning striking the same spot twice because that movie was perfection best plot twist of all time the movie was great all around it has some you know horror aspects that I'm hoping this movie don't have because if you don't know i don't mess with horror at all like i was watching sixth sense and when all the shenanigans started let me just say i'm glad i finished the video because there were times where i'm like mm, <laughs> nah let's not get there but yeah let's get into this movie thanks for everyone who voted for it and recommended this movie um let's check out what m night is cooking on this one if you like the video please like the video my patreons you guys are awesome everyone watching on youtube thank you very much but before we get into this movie let's pay some bills the sponsor of today's video is me. As some of you might have guessed by now, I am an artist. I create oil paintings. You can see it in my studio. I change them off often. A way you can support me and the channel is by purchasing some of my work. Now, these are not the original paintings, but I doubt you could tell the difference. These are museum quality canvas prints. These are prints that are sturdy and professionally made, ready to hang once you get them. There's a variety of portraits and wildlife options you can pick from. If you use the promo code Frank art you can get 20% off any of these professional prints the link to my shop is in the description so if you feel like spicing up your walls hanging some art and supporting a local artist go down to my website and get yourself a piece of art once again the promo code is frank art f-r-a-n-k-a-r-t for 20% off on the checkout the promo lasts until the end of march thank you to me for sponsoring this video <laughs> Please, this movie be kind to me. I can't, I can't do horror, man. Please. What is this mysterious ass music, yo? Yikes. That was a scream. Who the heck is screaming? Oh, dad and uncle, they're brothers. Are they in trouble? Morgan! Found her. Hello? That's his baby, oh. right? Oh, where's Morgan? I'm in my dream too. This is not a dream. Oh, you ain't dreaming, girl. Where's Morgan? Morgan, what's happening? Dogs are barking. Woke us up. Uh-huh. Are you hurt? I think God did it. Did what, Morgan? God did what? <laughs> Grab his face. Is there gonna be some freaky shit in this movie? What are they looking at? Dead crop. That's a bad sign. Okay, looks like they're being watched. There's more? Oh. That's the... That's the logo that's on the movie title, right? See, it was strange finding the crops that way. Right. The kids were confused by it. The wolf and their brothers messing around, that's all. Right. At the movies. Are you sure? That don't even look like a person did it. Because I saw a picture of the movie and I saw tinfoil hats. Aliens. Houdini peed. I think he's sick. Uh-oh. Why don't you take him outside? I'll call Dr. Crawford. Did it affect the dog? Mmm, them look That's good right burn there. Again. Tell me what it's like living out in the country. If you're it's watching this and you live out in the country. I don't even know what that word means. It's not contaminated. <laughs> it tastes it's just that word. It does not. Besides, he looks his butt every day. I don't think he'll mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. People who let dogs lick their faces. I'm like he was just licking his bum. Is that dog okay? Bo, don't run. What's wrong, boy? 
What is Stop wrong? Don't run, don't run. I was over Theo Henry's farm yesterday afternoon and he would have mentioned something. Why were you right. at Theo's place? Some animals around the county have been acting funny. Just like their dog. What is it, a virus? I don't think so, Father. They're more edgy. Right. It's almost like they act when they smell a predator around, peeing on themselves and everything. His dog just peed himself to death, too. Oh, I'm liking this. Mystery. Caroline? That's my shit right there. Please stop calling me father. Don't mess with the kids. What the hell? Is it stabbed? He fell on me. He wanted to kill Bo. Oh my god, Bo. This is what the cop was just talking about. Okay, for some reason, when I saw the that one picture that I saw that had tinfoil hats, I was thinking the movie is going to be funny, goofy. Nah, this is, <laughs> this is some real stuff right there. Kid having to kill their own dog. Whew. I'm so sorry, Morgan. Mm, poor kid. Boy, are you okay? Little girl probably traumatized from this. Not probably, definitely. Tie Isabel up to the back of the shed, please, and make sure the knot's very tight. Yeah, because it's not affecting this other dog yet. Yikes. Oh, some mysterious. Some mysterious shit is going on here. And I can't wait to get to the bottom of it. I just hope this movie don't have any scary elements, man, because. Your boy's fragile like that. There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? <laughs> oh, Bo. What's wrong with the water next to your bed? It tastes old. This is the second time she said something about water tasting funny. Shall go to bed with the lights on. F all that. What are you thinking about? Why do you talk to mom when you're by yourself? Aww. Makes me feel better. Did their mom Are pass you away? Back? Mm. Question. Because my brain just started firing. If you haven't seen Sixth Sense and you want to prevent spoiler, please just skip to the next part of the reaction. Probably not, but are the universes connected between like M. Night Shyamalan's uh, similar movies? Because the moment Bo just asks him, why do you talk to mom when you're alone? All I can think about is Bruce Willis. What was his name in that movie? Not Vincent. Vincent was the first kid. Uh, Bruce Willis' character uh, talking to his wife and dead people and whatnot. So I just wanted to know if the universes were connected. Probably not, but it would be cool if it was in the same universe. Let's know if some of the rules apply. Or maybe I'm just thinking too deep and let me take this movie f just for what it is. She never answers me either. Mm. Yeah. What the heck was that? Was that something on their house? Lionel Pritchard and the Wolf and your brothers are back. It's time what? for an ass whooping. This is not an intelligent way to approach this. We both go outside, move around the house in opposite directions, force them around till we meet up on the other side. Explain that crazy. You know, curse That's not a bad plan. You, want me to curse? you don't mean it. It won't be convincing. It doesn't sound natural when I curse. <laughs> it doesn't sound natural. <laughs> Do this or what? No, I'm not. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> ah, I'm insane with anger. We're gonna be trapped. I'm losing They're my They're gonna mind. run into each other. <laughs> I cursed. I heard. I heard. <laughs> Hello? What is up there? That ain't a person, is it? Cause how'd they get up? Are you sure it's says Lionel Pritchard? Oh hell no. Hell no. Mm-mm. You can use Bo's baby monitor as a walkie-talkie. You can? Yeah. It only really? works one way, but that'll do fine. That is I until hope that comes up. walkie-talkie left over at the station. Turn that down until Officer Paskey leaves. <laughs> Dexter's lab? Oh my god, I used to love Dexter's laboratories. 
You take a glass of water and you finish it. Now, what's wrong with this one? Morgan took a sip and it has his amoebas in it. <laughs> his amoebas in it. I never got a chance to tell you, but I, I thought you moving in here with your brother after. It was a nice thing to do. Oh, yeah, after they much. lost the mom? You are. I think so. Okay, so far I have. It was very dark. Yes, it That's was. it. I can't <laughs> describe him at all. Over six feet? It was very dark. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was very How dark. certain are you that this was a male? Oh, I don't, I don't know any girls who could run like that. They right. had women's high jumping in the Olympics. That's they a got fact. these Scandinavian women who can jump clean over me. <laughs> He's like, I, you I lost. Excluding the possibility that a female Scandinavian Olympian was running around outside our house last night, what else might be a possibility? I'm not done asking questions, and I don't appreciate sarcasm. Maybe a, a church member who, who might not have liked the fact that you left the church. Yikes. I don't think so. Okay, I was out of line with the whole female Scandinavian Olympian thing. <laughs> He's still stuck just, on that. Baby, why don't you just change the channel on the television? I did. Same show is on every station. Hello? Every station. Bo, turn up the volume. Implies the coordination of hundreds of individuals over many countries. Yikes. There are only a limited number of explanations. All around Either the world. This is one of the most elaborate hoaxes ever created. Or basically, it's for real. Oh, it sounds like it's for real. <laughs> My boy Tegan. Doesn't he look like the Home Alone kid? It's the 18th it's reported crazy. crop sign found in that country in the last 72 hours. In 72 Can we hours? Each other radio? They are signs intended to be seen from the sky. Right. No radio either. Just for a while. Take their mind off it. I'm very intrigued and I like the fact that it's worldwide. And it's not just limited to their small town. It's just a bunch of crock. They're trying to sell sodas. <laughs> Been watching these reports since morning. I have seen 12 soda commercials so far. 12! <laughs> I don't tell me you believe this horse manure. It was asthma medicine, right, Father? And it's not Father anymore. Right. Seems like he wants to move past his fatherhood. Can I ask you a favor, Father? I need to clear my conscience. Hello? You listen to me. He doesn't do that anymore. anymore. Right. I haven't been for six months. Probably after his wife died, right? Please, I need to clear my conscience. I've got it figured. Do you now? You do? I've had two separate folks tell me there have been strangers around these parts last couple nights. It's a military procedure. You send out a reconnaissance group. Not to engage, but to evaluate. Evaluate. Why is he so serious about it? Make sure things are all clear. Clear for what? For the rest of them. He might be onto something. Well, you, you're Merrill Hess. I was there the day you hit that 507 footer over the left field wall. Got the bat at home. On the wall. Mm. Why weren't you in the pros making stacks of cash and getting your toes licked by beautiful women? Because he has another record most people don't know about. He has the minor league strikeout record. Didn't matter who was on base, he would just whip that back through the air as hard as he could. Mm. Looked like a lumberjack chopping down a tree. <laughs> Thirteen! Don't give me that so -so <laughs> soda commercial. <laughs> I'll take it. I cursed 37 times last week. Sheets. And bastards. Is that the confession? <laughs> Girl, that's funny. That's M. Night Shyamalan. Why did you look at him so strange like? Is that him? Him? Yeah. Who is him and what did he do? Who is he? Yeah, Bo, who is he? They're just gonna leave us in suspense. Okay. What is it? Oh yeah, his walkie. I'm gonna use it as a walkie-talkie. Mm hmm. 
What if it's catching a signal from them? This is a it's smart not. kid. This crop stuff is about a bunch of nerds who never had a girlfriend in their lives. Analyze Greek mythology and make up <laughs> secret societies. They do stupid crap like this to feel special. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a code. Why can't they get girlfriends? <laughs> Why can't they get girlfriends? <laughs> I love the question kids ask sometimes. The most random things. This is exactly what the nerds want. Voices. Did you hear that? Probably picking up another baby monitor. That did not sound like a baby. Stop! That is crazy. It gets clearer the higher you hold it. Interesting. Such a smart kid. Bo, honey, I don't want you climbing on the car. Bo is not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Bo is like, let me go. I want to investigate. <laughs> There's two of them talking. Oh, we messing with aliens now. They lost the signal. Mm -mm, she's terrified. The same thing that happened to the first dog. They started getting aggressive. Man, do not go in there, man. What the heck? This is when you stay back and call for backup. Couldn't be me. In the middle of night? Shit. If there's a jump scare here, I would just lose my mind. Bro, go back inside, man. Is it another sign that was made there, or is the previous one? You're wasting your time here. You're not going to get famous. That was smart. Trying to kill their motivation for wanting to do it. If they were actually teenagers or <laughs> nerds doing this. Do you remember your way back, or... Oh god, something's about to happen, isn't it? What? There was definitely something there. My guy, pick up your lamp, man. Bad timing, man. Oh shit, that was a leg. That was. <laughs> yeah, now you're thinking, run, my guy. That was a whole long, lanky leg right there. Yep, he saw it. Are you gonna tell someone? <laughs> because he knows if he tells them he is reinforcing their belief in the extraterrestrial. Oh, they know something is up. Let's turn on the TV. <laughs> Pops is a believer now. Two minutes ago, route from Mazatlan to New York. As Holy the shit, they're actually showing themselves. Mexico City airspace. We have to tape this. The nerds were right. My ballet recital. Listen, Bo. Aww. This is very important. We need to record this so you can show your children this tape and say you were there. Find something children, else. Bo. My ballet recital. Dad. None of that <laughs> mattered to Bo. <laughs> I love that. Uncle Merrill, I'm using your tape. Everything they wrote in science books is about to change. I told you. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> His little inhaler. Some people are probably thinking this is the end of the world. That's true. Couldn't you pretend to be like it used to be? No. Break down into two groups. Group number one sees it as more than luck. That there is someone up there watching out for them. Group number two, happy turn of chance. They see those 14 lights. They're looking at a miracle. Are you the kind that sees signs, sees miracles? Mm. Or do you believe that people just get lucky? I like this conversation because it takes into account um, people who are religious and people who are not. You know, people who believe in like a greater 
being and people who don't believe in God and stuff like that. And obviously, I'm very open to the belief that, you know, worship what you want to worship and believe what you want to believe in. If that belief gives you comfort, if that belief gives you joy, if that belief gives you some kind of map or blueprint to how you live your life and you're not affecting anyone else, 100% do that. And in this case, you know, like he explained or like I'm registering what he explained. It's like having that belief in something gives you hope that no matter what goes on with these lights or these aliens, I'm going to be good. Someone is going to be there to save me or even if this takes my life, I'm going to end up in a paradise or something like that. So yeah, it's just when those belief systems start infringing on other people's lives and other people's rights. That's when I have an issue. But if you're doing it for all the good things it brings to you, absolutely. I think those questions just made him more scared. I go to lean in and kiss her, and I realize I've go in my mouth. <laughs> Take out the gum and turn around. Randa McKinney throws up all over herself. I knew the second it happened. It was, <laughs> it was a miracle. <laughs> I could have been kissing her when she threw up. <laughs> I would have scarred me for life. That would destroy I you for life. Recover. I'm a miracle man. I'm a miracle man. Those lights are a miracle. I love that conversation. So which type are you? Interesting. Do you feel comfortable? Which type are you, Reverend? Yeah, I do. And what does it matter? Mm. They weren't explicit with it, but I think maybe after he lost his wife, he also lost his faith as well. I think that's why he left the church because I can see the correlation there, you know. You lose something so close to you and you question God and stuff like that and yeah. I never told you the last words that Colleen said before they mm. were dying. Colleen. And then she said, swing away. You know why she said that? Because the nerve endings in her brain were firing as she died and some random memory of us at one of your baseball games just popped into her head. Mmm. Swing away. There is no one watching out for us, Meryl. We are all on our own. That is tough. My goodness. I really like this movie so far. A whole lot. Roadblocks? Oh, is this a flashback of when it happened? Oh, God. Well, he wasn't drunk. Ray fell asleep at the wheel. Is he okay? Yeah. It was the first thing Colleen asked to. She's talking. What ambulance is she in? She's not in an ambulance, Father. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do you even listen to that? <laughs> She's not in an ambulance. Man. <laughs> so the aliens can't read our minds? <laughs> 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 Are you gonna make one for dad or? This is probably very small, like my height. That means they're unemployed. We can make fun of it and forget it. This is serious. <laughs> oh, Bo. If Bo says serious, it's serious. I just asked his name. You had a tone. <laughs> you had a tone. So there are two reasons why extraterrestrials will visit us. To make contact in the spirit of exploration and mm. for the other reason, they're hostile. To kill us? <laughs> Let's see what else Bimbo is talking about. Yikes, setting the house on fire. Looks a little like our house, doesn't it? Same windows. That's weird. Hello? One big body and two little bodies? Yeah, I'll be That's scared to Dr. Bimboo. <laughs> to eat some fruit or something. Where are you going? Ray Reddy's house. Why? I think he just called here. You have one of your feelings again? Uh-oh. Is it bad? I won't let anything bad happen to you. Aw. Uh -huh. I don't want you to die. Hello? You said I was gonna die. You said I was gonna die. I don't know, man. She has a sense. I wanted to make a bad six sense joke right there, but it was a bad joke. It wouldn't hit. 
not a joke upon, but you get what I'm saying. So this is the person that called and just vanished, right? Let's see if Dr. Bimbo was onto, onto something. It's Shyamalan again. Yeah, let, let him tell us the mystery about him, because I'm still wondering. Oh, he's moving. Hello? What happened? When I knew it was inside the house. Thank you for coming, Father. Fallen asleep driving before, ever since. Oh. Once to the ride home, it wasn't a car. His daughter, his, his wife's daughter. accident. It had to be at that right moment, that 10, 15 seconds when I passed her walking. Damn. It was like it was meant to be. I guess if this is the end of the world, I'm screwed, right? People who mm. kill reverends' wives aren't exactly ushered to the front of the line in heaven. <laughs> Right. I don't know about that. But where are you going? This place is marked in crops and such. None of them are really near water. I don't think they like Interesting. Water. But why is he bleeding did though? Something? Did something attack him? It made you question your faith. Hmm. I'm truly sorry for what I've done to you and yours. Hmm. Don't open my pantry, Father. Found one of them in there and locked him in. That is not something you say and just drive off. The in the pantry? Show you was by a there and sent to us it is getting crazy, huh? Ago. All initial opinions are this is genuine. What you're about to see may disturb you. Did I actually catch one of them? Where is it? Move, children! Vominos! <laughs> <laughs> he said vomitous. Holy Holy shit. That don't look fake, does it? It doesn't look like a costume. This man said he caught one. Sir, call the freaking cops, bro. Cause you're just gonna go and counter this. Right, he's in there just pacing left and right. I'm with him. I am a police officer. So convincing. I just wanna talk with you. We already took some of your friends downtown in a paddy wagon. <laughs> he's trying to get a peek. Uh, he's trying to he, he's trying to get a peek. <laughs> he is so curious and I think scared at the same time. It's like he just wants to know what it looks like. by so fast he got some of the fingers bruh they have claw <laughs> I do appreciate the humor uh, that is in there their skin changes colors that's why we couldn't see him that night mm. they would use ground tactics they wouldn't use our technology or fight an airborne battle because they know <laughs> Look eventually all of them. use nuclear weapons and the planet would be useless to them they don't like places near water, maybe. Did you maybe now? From up near a lake or something. Sounds made up. <laughs> the whole thing sounds made up. Because <laughs> he's had two encounters with them now. I saw one of them at Ray Reddy's house. I can't be sure, but I got the distinct feeling it wanted to harm me. All those in favor of the lake idea, raise your hand. <laughs> Bo. <laughs> it's a tie. Of home, raise your hand. My vote counts as two. That's bullshit. You're cheating. Morgan, calm down. Two votes because I represent two parents here. We don't know anything yet. We'll be safe here anyway. I don't want to leave home. This is where we live with mom. Mm. So what do you do with this? I changed my vote. 
I can't change your vote. All those in favor of home, raise your hand. I'm in, fa I'm in favor of home. Three to two. <laughs> Is he going to get a tin foil hat as well? <laughs> We're going to board up every window in this house. So you're not going to call any of the services, the military, nothing? So that alien is just there bleeding. Dad, Uncle Merrill. Wow, they're multiplying. Amman joins Nairobi, Beijing, and Jerusalem as the latest to confirm the appearance of lights. They're appearing at or within one mile of crop signs. They were for navigation. They made them out. They're, they're about to pull up on your land very soon. I was wrong. They're hostile. Hmm. I think the crazy thing about this movie is what if the conspiracy theories or the sightings, I should say, are real, right? I shouldn't use conspiracy theories, but I don't know. Because I personally believe it would be very arrogant of us to think we're the only things in the universe. Because the universe is just so big and massive. Even though what happened to create life on Earth is like scientifically, it's like a stroke of genius and like luck you could say but it could still have happened in other galaxies and universe but yeah people say they're sighting all the time that they've seen stuff wasn't there a hearing in the u.s of like when people testified or like some government agents testified of like sightings they've seen and whatnot i think it was the middle or the end of last year so yeah man some of the sightings sound baloney, but some others sound like legit, so you never know. So I, I'm liking this movie because it's, what if those theories and those sightings were real? At least this one, there's like a lot of proof because there's the signs on the farmlands and whatnot. I think it's very interesting. Hundreds of thousands have flocked to temples, synagogues, and churches. Hmm. God be with us all. What's going through your mind right now, Father? Some guy had a sign saying it was the end of the world. Hmm. Don't worry. You won't let anything happen to us, right? No way. Mm -hmm. I wish you were my dad. What did you say? Hmm. Don't you ever say anything like that again. Ever. Aw. Your dad does care. He's doing what he can. Is this movie going to have some weird plot twist? I'll make mm. some sandwiches. I want spaghetti. Sounds great. <laughs> Morgan. French toast. Now we're talking. Chicken teriyaki. Good choice. Are they considering this their last I'm meal? I have a cheeseburger with bacon. Extra bacon. Because <laughs> why the fuck not, right? Hmm. Are they gonna eat? What's the matter with everyone? Eat. Maybe we should say a prayer. No. <laughs> In case is their last. We're not saying a prayer. Bo has a bad feeling. We aren't saying a prayer. Hmm. Eat. I hate you. Oh God. Fine. You let mom die. Morgan. Oh no. I am not wasting one more minute of my <laughs> life on prayer. Not one more minute. Hmm. Understood. Now we are going to enjoy this meal. No one can stop us from enjoying this meal, so enjoy it! Stop crying! Cram. Don't She's... yell at her! Alright. Oh, so it is so eat. bad. I'm try some of everything. Oh, God. Because they're all just sad and sorrowful right now. <laughs> he yanked him close. Bro, loss loss is such a bad thing, man. Loss is such a bad thing because, man, that scene was just painful, bro. Because I get it. Like what he's saying, he's not spending another second on prayer. I get it. I remember coming back from school and my mom sitting us down and my mom telling me that my dad had passed away and grew up in a religious household, Christian household. And I remember looking at a picture on the wall 
of like a Bible verse that we had on the wall. I just remember looking at it, like staring at it. You know, it was one of those moments where like, yeah, I believed in God from when I was a kid, but like my mom just told me my dad had died. And looking at that thing, like almost using that picture on the wall as a medium to God and just being like, kind of like in my little kid brain, just being like, like, why would you allow this to happen type shit, you know? And so I, I, I totally feel this where like, I mean, he was a reverend, like don't want to spend any second in prayer because he feels like that prayer didn't save his wife. Yeah. And the kids, too, it's like they don't have, maybe they haven't mourned properly. And you can tell that there's still stuff in there, especially in Morgan, saying, like, you let mom die and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's because he, when you're that age, like, you find something to blame, you know, especially when things are out of your control. And dad just wants everybody to enjoy this meal if it's their last. And you being a father, not knowing if you have any control over the situation, eh. And Bo crying because, like, she feels so helpless and so small. But I love that Morgan stood up and just hugged his dad because he, he's such a smart kid. Like, he recognized that, you know, he might have pushed the button there. And at this time, they just need to love on each other right now. So, man, that, yeah, that was a rough one. Hmm. It was a long time, my boy. This is the wrong time. Aliens are like, sorry to interrupt this beautiful family bonding moment, but shit's about to get crazy. Yikes. The TV stations ain't even on no more. It's happening. Is this happening for real? Because up until now, it kind of looked like just fun and games, but... But if this is happening now, now, do y'all have weapons and stuff? <laughs> like, if we're gonna go, let's go out swinging. Oh, look at them. Did I ever tell you what everyone said when you were born, Bo? What'd they say? You came out of your mama and you didn't even cry. You just opened Aww. your eyes and you looked around the room and everybody. Your eyes are so big and gorgeous. And mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, she's like an angel. And they said, we've never seen a baby so beautiful. And you look up at me and you smile. That's beautiful. They say babies that young can't smile. <laughs> you smile. Let's go down now. That's such a beautiful, comforting story to tell your baby at a time like this. Oh god, their dogs are still out there. Forgot Isabel. Forgot Isabel. The heck is going on? What? Oh no, something just got Isabel. Should we turn off the lights? They already know. Hell no. Do y'all got some weapons, some knives, something? Hey, yo. This is happening. Bruh, go grab a stick or a knife or something. rest you out of the room before I even had time to see you. Mm-hmm. They're on the roof. All she kept asking about was you. Aww. I wanted your mama to see you first because she had dreamed about you her whole life. And she got feeling better. They brought you in. And she looked mm -hmm. at you. And you looked at her. And you just stared at each other for the longest time. <laughs> and then she said, real yeah. soft, Hello, Morgan. I'm your mama. You look just how I dreamed. Yeah. That's so much comfort for those kids, I bet. Oh, they Back got him through the attic. Let's go. 
Ugh. Look at the claws. Have we got anything to wedge against the doorknob? So read our minds. You're scaring your sister. I'm already scared. I'm already scared, Bo. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. No! Got it! Jesus Christ, bro. You broke the light bulb? This darkness is not comfortable. <laughs> he said, I'm not ready. Where's Bo? Hello? Bo? I'm okay. Okay, Bo's just hiding. There's no way they don't have some weapons around this house. A baseball bat, something. And why are we f***ing in the dark, yo? What's happening out there? I can't even imagine. The oh, heck is going noises. on? They're not trying to get in. The book says they're probably very good problem solvers. So find a way in. I'm just here for the ride. I ain't trying to say nothing. They used to pour coal down in this basement. There's a cool, cool. in here. Well, like an entrance. I can feel air. Me too. Oh God. What? Pull him! Pull him! You just got him! Pull him! I got him! I got him! Pull him! What the fuck? Where's the rest? Where's Morgan? Where's Morgan and Dad? God. We don't have his medicine. Oh, his inhaler. Don't be afraid, Morgan. We'll slow this down together. Feel my chest. Aww. Feel it moving in and out. Mm -hmm. Come on. What a father. Stay with me. You dreamt about this? It hurts. Be strong, baby. Hmm. Girl, what do you mean you dreamed this? Come on, Morgan, hang in there. There you go. Don't do this to me again. Not oh. again. Mm. I hate you. Is he talking to I God? Believe mm. it's going to pass. Believe it. He's so comforting, man. The air is coming. It's Believe. About to pass. Here it comes. Don't be afraid. Here comes the air. Well. Together. Is this the real? Mother, we're the same. Can you talk someone through an asthma attack? Mm, so sweet, man. So did they just stop attacking? And he had Colleen and then a tree. And she was pinned. Between the two. God. The truck has severed most of her lower half. Jesus. Her body is pinned in such a way that it's alive when it shouldn't be alive. Oh my and God. And the truck is holding her together. And she's, she's talking almost like normal. We want you to come down here and be with her as long as she's awake. God. And it won't be very long. You understand what I've told you? Cameron. Essentially, the tr the truck is keeping her alive. This is the last time I'm going to talk with my wife. Yes, it is. Oh God, accidents can be very freaking hideous. God, are they going to show it? People think they came here to take over the planet. That's bull. I don't think that. <sighs> my friend and I saw them. I was not ready to see that. Like light bulbs. Poisonous family. They dragged them away. This is a raid. They came here for us to harvest us. Yikes. Lucky as hell they're leaving. They're leaving? That's what what do said. you mean they're leaving? He said they had poison gas. What the they hell? Died. But they're leaving. They left real fast this morning. They left some of their wounded behind. Really? People must have figured out a way to beat them. Everyone has a weakness, right? I'm so confused right now. Like, what is going on? You didn't think we'd make it through the night, did you? Could you blame him? One of them I can't take. I'm older brother who's everything I want to be. 
starts losing faith in things. Hmm. I saw your eyes last night. That was real. I don't want to ever see your eyes like that again. You owe it to him. Yeah. I look at Morgan breathing fine. He needs his medicine. Gotta go upstairs soon, man. I'll ask for the 50th time. Do y'all have weapons? A knife or something? Your hammers. Where are your hammers? You're just raw dogging this with no weapons. Ay, ay, ay. You're a better man than me. I feel like something's just gonna jump out of nowhere. They tore the house apart. They're doing this on TV. <laughs> They're dancing? Yeah, like this. <laughs> You want to see it? Bo, Bo is the best. I'll bring the TV in here. Three small cities there found a primitive method to defeat them, but no further details at this time. Aren't you going to share the method? Like, what the heck? What was it? Fire? Something? Lord have mercy. There's one in there. It has him. Oh. That's the one that you took his finger. Oh my god. Oh. What the heck? Why is his mind going back there? Oh man. My baby. Just taking a walk over dinner. Oh god. You love walks. Does it hurt? I don't feel much. Oh god. Tell Marvin to play games. Mm. It's okay to be silly. I will. Tell Bo to listen to her brother. I will. And tell Grim. I'm here. Tell him. See. Tell him to see. Mm. This is what he was saying. Do this is what he was saying. What kind of person are you? Are you the kind that sees signs, sees miracles? Or do you believe that people just get lucky? Is it possible there are no coincidences? Hello? Oh yeah, baseball bat, baby. Swing away, Meryl. <laughs> Meryl. Swing, Swing away. away. You know what time it is, Meryl. Come on now. You know what time it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Yep. Swing the f away. Boy, keep swinging. Keep swinging. They don't like water. They don't like water. Swing away, Meryl. <laughs> Meryl, keep swinging. Mm-hmm. Boy. Meryl, imagine you're in the pros. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Get baptized. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, wow. Broke the bat. Yeah, you ain't gonna make it, my boy. I had asthma. Can't be luck. His lungs were closed. His lungs were closed. No poison got in. His lungs mm. were closed. His lungs were closed. Oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> Give him a second. Daddy? Don't touch him. 
Poison didn't Girl. get in. Please. Dad? What happened? Oh, God. That's his voice. Did someone save me? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I think someone did. Mmm. I mean, thank God it was just one alien. If it was like five of them hoes, yeah, mom saved you. Snowing. Fast forward. Oh, wow. He's back to being a reverend. I guess he is the first type of person. interesting one thing i'm gonna say is i am happy this movie was not on the scarier side even though there were some scenes that had me looking um one thing i love about the movie is just the overall mystery is like they never showed us an alien or anything till like darn near the end of the movie you know i love that because that our human mind's always gonna make worse thing than the actual monster. So the things we were thinking the whole time until we saw it, it was pretty. It was pretty spooky. And uh, overall, something I love about this movie is the B plot about like him losing his wife, how it happened, the trauma that left behind for all of them, including the kids, him losing his faith, not being a reverend anymore, and you know, not believing anymore and finding a way to, you know, believe and come back in the end. I wish they showed more about the alien invasion, but now that I think about it, the story was focused on them and their family. So I think it was all right that the only time we heard about the alien was through the radio and the TVs and all that, but oh boy, there were some scenes here. My favorite scene by far is that whole dinner and how, you know, a lot of emotions came pouring out, but not just that, how he found ways to reassure them that everything was okay like the stories he was telling her about when she was born and the story he told morgan when he was born as well i think i think those were beautiful some highlights for me in the movie and you know the fact that the mom's voice or her last words came back and you know motivated the brother-in-law how his brother like took out the alien i love that just swing just swing baby i love that so much the whole scene of him at her accident oh my god it's like what a freaking moving force does to a human body sometimes is just not explainable graphic as hell like the truck was the only thing keeping her alive like probably if they had pulled out the truck she would just like die immediately or start feeling so much pain such a powerful scene sharing the last words i love that the first thing he asked her is are you in pain and she's like she don't feel much and at least that gave him some kind of peace great movie like i said i enjoyed this but i'm just happy you didn't have more of the horror aspect i think i was way more terrified watching six Sense than this one but again thank you for watching on my patreons thank you so much for voting on this video on this movie i will catch you in another video peace Bye.